He's on a manlin jacket and hair. He is sponsored by Rogaine. Mr. Kyle Wood. Sir!
tell you what, I just want to say a couple of um, quick thank yous to the folks that put us on out here to Mary. And uh, this has been kind of a lifelong dream for us to actually be here. It's been a long period of a few years. And uh, I, I don't think we really, it's hard to believe, guys, that we're actually here. But thank you guys because you're the reason. And we love you guys. Yes, we love Winterhawk. I guess you couldn't, you couldn't tell we're from down south. South of France, actually, yeah. Uh, but I tell you what, we've never been treated better uh, anywhere in our lives. This is a family here, and we can tell that. So we hope to be a part of it uh, from here on out. Yeah, this is our first time up this way, too. We'd love an opportunity to meet those folks that, uh, that may not know us, and we don't know them, but we've got, uh, we'd like to change that. We've got a table uh, over here, you know, if you've got time uh, after the show later tonight or sometime tomorrow, but we're, we're going to be out and about, and... Uh, We'd love to talk with some of you, so. Yeah, this is great. Oh, yeah. If you have a friend near, draw nearer to that friend. If you have an enemy near, reconcile your differences. It is time to huddle together in fear of the ghost train. The miner's silver ghost. Switchman shack of mine post on the mountain. The storm was pretty bad and the telegraph was dead. It was just 11 hours till the dawn. Then much to my surprise, the telegraph jumped into life. As I read the code, I thought could this be true? The train was on its way, headed up the mine of grain. She didn't have an engineer or a crew. At the other switch, they tried to put her on. She kept on coming up the mountain gray And I quickly doused the light Dress into the night Maybe I could spot her headlights in the rain She was pounding down below I could hear a whistle blow I thought, Lord, that's a high lord full of sound And then the telegraph began There's been a came in at the mine A hundred men are buried beneath the ground
ghost. I see you. I see you too. That was an actual simulated train whistle that Kyle blew there during the middle of the song. Can I tell my Kyle Wood story right now? <laughs> All right, Kyle Wood, right over here, mantling hair and jacket. He wanted to get his driver's license when he was a kid, and his dad told him, he said, before you get your driver's license, you're going to have to show that you're motivated, so you got to do three things. He said, first, I want you to uh, get your grades up in school. That's not too hard. And I want to see you study that Bible every day. I want to see you really study that. Then he said, the third thing is I want you to get a haircut. So Kyle said, all right, that's a deal. He said, I'll come back in a month and we'll talk about it. So Kyle goes and he comes back a month later and his dad uh, says, well, son, he said, I tell you what, I've been really proud of you. You know, you got your grades up to straight A's and noticed you studied your Bible every day. And, but he said, the, you didn't get a haircut. You know, that was part of the deal. What, what's going on? So Kyle looked at his dad. He said, well, dad, you know, in all of my study, and I was noticing in the Bible that there was a lot of people in the Bible that had long hair. You know, there was Moses and... John the Baptist and maybe even Jesus, you know, had long hair. And he said, you know, if it's good enough for them, I thought, good enough for me. And his dad says, yeah, you know, they might have had long hair, but they walked everywhere they went too. What a time she had in love. She'd shine like a watch. Played it.
probably be a little better than that. That's more like King of Babylon, bow your knees, the writing's on the wall. Your kingdom's days are numbered and it's just about to fall. Your gods of silver, bronze, and gold can't save your soul at all. So, King, you better sing some praise to heaven. See y'all down there. You guys are great. You guys in the back still awake? <laughs> I can't hear you. I heard that. I heard that. I see the cigarette lighters. I see those cigarette lighters. <laughs> All right, folks, here's one called John Hardy. We're going to let Kyle Hosswood show out on one. We'll see you next time.
man, he said, Johnny, come along with me. He said, Cowboy, pick us one now, one good time. Wax 